Over the next month, we're going to be using Kodak Gold 200 and only Kodak Gold 200. Over the next number of minutes, you're going to see me use different cameras, also with Kodak Gold. And a lot of the, the time you're gonna be seeing Kodak Gold will be in sunny environments. Today it's not sunny, that's why we're filming this intro. But most of the images you're going to see are all going to be in sunny environments here in Mexico and eventually Japan. Lindsay and I are on our way to Mexico. We spend usually either January or February uh, for a few weeks in Playa del Carmen, and this year we have a side quest to Tulum. Wow, VIP. Such beautiful fish. Mexico. Borealis. Kodak Gold Film, not really known for cloudy days, but I'm going to show you what it looks like, anyways. Hi, Jacob. Is that a prelude? Damn. I also made a completely rookie film photographer mistake where I didn't change the ISO to 200 or even to 100 when I loaded this film in. I would recommend, uh, obviously film photography, the more light that you get the better. So uh, I would probably rate this film, which means setting my ISO to a lower ISO in my camera. Uh, I would set it probably to 100. Just let a little bit more light in. You have a lot more leverage in film on the higher end on the highlights rather than uh, shadows like you would in uh, digital photography. Now, for the moment of realization of that. Maybe I rated all that film at 800 uh, ISO rather than 200 ISO. Oopsies. So what I actually did was I had the lab push my film uh, because I'm shooting at 800 ISO in my camera. That's what it's metering for. So it's letting a lot less light in than it needs. So I took a Sharpie and I put plus twos all around it so I could at least push it two stops to get a little bit closer. And I actually kind of like the look of it a lot, to be honest. Um, that kind of looks very nice. <laughs> so uh, thumbs up to my mistake, I guess. This is the Lomo LCA Plus. We have a uh, focus on the side here. We have a uh, close focus up here. Infinity down there. You set your ISO up here. So there's a battery in it that will control your shutter speed for you. Frame counter up here and a little window to show you that, yeah, in fact, you do have film in here. This is Mexico. I'm an absolutely huge fan of the Lomo LCA Plus. It's very expensive for what it is, so find a used one because there's a lot on the used market for a lot less. It does not really hold its resale. And it was one of the first film cameras I ever got, and I think it was the first one that really connected with me. I like the simplicity of it. You don't have to think about anything. You just frame it up and shoot. And I like the defects that also come with this camera, that there's a very heavy vignette a lot of the time, and sometimes you get some surprising aesthetics to your pictures that you weren't expecting and most of the time that means that you forgot to set your focus and you are focused on either close or infinity when you are taking something that is the opposite because you do not see your focus through the viewfinder.
So confession, I actually really like the role that I underexposed and had to push in post-production two stops of Kodak Gold. So that is a look that I'm going to be continuing to do on purpose in the future uh, because it did look really, really nice. Kodak Gold regular looks nice as well, especially in the sun, but push two stops, in my opinion, at least that role that I shot looked a little bit better. I don't know, that looks nice too. It's a great film stock. There are also a few different ways to get Kodak Gold. That might sound weird. One is if you are going to a professional a camera store, uh, you will get Kodak Gold in 36 exposure rolls. Whereas if you go to Walmart or uh, Target, you will be getting Kodak Gold in 24 exposure rolls. And going back to the uh, 24 exposures versus 36, uh, at least the developers up here, uh, when you're actually bringing your film in to be processed, usually it's the same cost, whether it's a 24 exposure roll or 36 exposure roll, uh, scans as well. So uh, you're just saving some money if you're shooting the 36. But that one there is a 24. You can tell because it says 24 on the bottom. And yes, I did buy this from Walmart. Here we have the Ricoh R1S. It's a golden camera for a Kodak Gold on a golden day. I guess it's blue. The dogs are stoked over there. Why do they live in the forest? So this camera uh, does, I, I've only shot it once and there are definitely some light leaks. So, I don't know. We'll probably get maximum light leaks today. The LCD on all of these are also kind of broken. You can see my legs. Spooky, where's the rest of me? Honestly, the light leaks, the red haze you can kind of see there, and it's very much more apparent on there. I kind of like it a lot. And I am curious now if I shoot it with a stock like Cinestill 800T that has a lot of natural halation to it, uh, what that will look like, if we'll get too crazy or if it's just crazy enough as it is. Stay tuned to the channel for more. Also, check out that croc here. Three. Try one. You like spicy things. <laughs> yeah, this should be a not even taste. All right, welcome to Guy Fieri's gummy bears experience. Um, slightly crusty, uh, coated in oil. Whatever you put on top of pizza at Pizza Hut in 2004. Oh no. Let's go. You have to dab it off. It's not spicy. I don't know, it reminds me of like McDonald's barbecue sauce. Oh, it's time for Jacob's Hotel down the street. Photographer Jacob here in the wild. He caught a wild Volkswagen. How did that feel? Beautiful. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, uh, the old so egg good. Grocery stores in Mexico have incredible bakeries. Also, it's a dollar eighty pesos, so that's like a ten cent loaf of bread. Big fan. Also, this section here is pretty wild. Oh my gosh, is that Kodak Gold? You better bet. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Do you like that? Straight from Japan, baby. That's beautiful. 
We ran out. I hear you're supposed to change your film in broad daylight. Oh, that wasn't gold. What is it? An Ultramax it's or something. It's nice. You're not allowed to be in the video anymore. Sorry. Well, your next roll is gold. Fine. There you go. Kodak Gold. Here we go. Jacob's waiting for her his branding photos. It's raining. It is raining. Video of me rolling film. <gasps> now you're ready to go. Play. Okay. He's ready. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Lindsay Jackson here on uh, Taylor Coulter's YouTube channel. He's actually just starting out, a fledgling photographer, so we're here to teach him a couple of things. What kind of lens do you have on there? Um, this lens is a uh, 70 to 200 Portra Max um, 35 millimeter X-T2. Wow. Pretty intense branding photo session. That's it. Only on film. The land of iced coffee. How about some dogs? Now let's enter an environment that Kodak Gold 200 absolutely excels in. And that is just bright, sunny, nice blues. Lomo 400 is also a go-to uh, in a situation like this. I shot a roll of it uh, last year at this same beach and it was my favorite roll from the entire trip, but I didn't get to photograph a tuba on the beach. So that's new. The Loma LCA Plus is nice for this because it's zone focusing. So you just kind of select what focus distance you want and then you find your photo makes it quick and easy wow another tube headed to the beach and then Lindsay did some karaoke Is Kodak Gold the correct choice for any nighttime environment? My answer is probably no, unless you have a tripod and you can do a multi-second exposure. Or if you have a flash, um, I find that it is just a little bit not sensitive enough to light. Uh, so if you are even using a flash, uh, it's not really picking up a whole lot of the environment around the person you're taking a picture of, unless it's during blue hour. Let's go to the Super Bowl. Back on the Rico with the light leaks. That's the Super Bowl, they won. That's how fast that happened. Congratulations, you won. Hola, quesadilla. We're staying at a place called The Beach in Tulum, which is a bit of a challenging hotel to search for because it's literally called The Beach. We did a wedding here. Uh, there's a spot called Ziggy's next door, and we did a wedding in 2013, maybe, with Brian Morrow from Shark Pig, which was an incredible experience to watch him work. And we decided that we'd come back, this time with the Rico R1S. 
The light leaks are getting pretty intense from that shot. It's a new configuration of tub that I've never seen before. I'm in the tub now. It's pretty nice. Hello. I missed the reveal. Huh? Oh, we had a rooftop too. Yeah. Oh, what? Wow, wow, wow. Now, my question to you, if you have a Rico R1S, is does it also light leak like this, or did I get a special edition? Because it's gold, maybe it, it allows more light into the film. I don't know. I do like it though. Uh, maybe not in all the photos, maybe not in that one. Could have done some different things, but I do enjoy the mystery of film photography. things with Kodak Gold is that it is not that expensive, especially in comparison to something like a Portrait 400. So you feel a little bit more like taking pictures more often uh, when it doesn't cost you that amount of money. There's a man on a swing out there. The, uh, the top looks pretty dodgy. I'm sure it's fine. I've been in Tulum, it's basically Instagram in real life. This includes the restaurants, this includes the hotels, this includes the areas that you can bike and take your moped to. Everything is very, very Instagram here. last morning in Mexico and soon it's time to go to Tokyo but just with Marshall not with Jacob Laura and Lindsay only Marshall and I it's for the X100 6 launch which actually ended up being a heck of a lot of fun here's my attempt at a wicked transition that's what they've drawn Japan as and now we go to there I have a new friend it's Marshall in uh, Billy's camera bag we have uh, is that ramen? That's a ramen. <laughs> so this is called the um, this is called the site supervisor. Oh, it's like a construction it's schedule. Right? If you look on the top, there's a little like a construction <laughs> guy. <laughs> Don't break the baby. <laughs> Remember when I have a shot of you here with your Nintendo Switch that you just purchased? Hoping that it does its firmware update before we get on the plane and connected to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, slippers. It knows I'm video. Oh, it's got its friend over there. 
got delivery in progress. Check into my room. One, it's huge. Two, I get to see my favorite dog. How do I work curtains? Help. Seriously, curtains. Oh, there we go. There it is, my favorite dog. Right here. Oh yeah. starting a film store here in Tokyo. Come through, good prices, good friends, question mark. Beautiful focus. That's the camera there. Also not featured yet is John Branch the Fourth. Uh, we did other videos together that are on the channel if you want to watch. But for the Kodak Gold section of our Japan trip, he was around for this photo, or maybe that was it. Is Kodak Gold a great film for the city? I don't know. I think it's fine. Typically, my preference would be on a cloudy day like this to go black and white. So Japan Camera Hunter Street Pan 400 might be a go-to or 400 Tri-X. seen in a minute. Sumo is actually part of the X106 launch, for real. It was great. After a full week of rain in Japan, it was very nice to have one sunny day, and this was the, the only sun that we saw on the entire trip. I think for like two hours when we were inside during the, the launch for the X-106, other than that it was just rain from the time we arrived until the time we left. We also did 28 kilometers of walking, so like maybe 16 miles of walking on this day. And I got a personal record of 25 standing hours in one day. That is one hour more than exists in a day but I did it.
And we've come to the end of the month with Kodak Gold 200. What a journey it's been from Mexico to here. And that's it. I really enjoyed shooting this film stock and I think that you will as well. We didn't feature any of the 120 in this video. For my preference, I just like the 35 millimeter version a lot better. Uh, everything, just the way everything comes together with it. And that's all for me here. See you next time. And until then, you can watch any of the videos that are on the screen right here. We did a full film photography road trip all around the, not full world, but some Europe and some North America. And here, do we come here? We're here today. <laughs> we are, yeah. Bye.